Hello! In the previous lesson, we saw how we can add the project listing with HTML markup. In this lesson, we'll see how we can add the recent projects and also the chat section. For us to be able to do this, we are going to be using chat.js, which will allow us to just embed our chat without really having to add so many lines of code. Let's see how that works. Now, HTML, in the secondary section, we're just going to declare all the recent projects structure. And let's see how that works. So first, we need to declare our chat section, and we're going to wrap that in a div. So we can just call the chat. So in this chat section, we're going to have our chat, we're going to have the project title, we're going to have this tree completed, and also this rider that we have here. So let's see how we can do that. Let's have our H2 that is going to house the title, so we can just call it total project. We can make this capital. Then now we need to embed our chart. For us to do that, let's just go to chart.js. So let me see if I can use Chrome to do that. We're just going to say chart.js. Okay, so once you have this open, let's just go to get started. Okay, now these are like the multiple or the type of charts that you can have. As for this example here, we have the bar. What we're looking for is the donut, which is going to be the round one. But for us to first make this work, we need to go to the CDN. Once we get to the CDN, we need to just copy. Yes, we need to copy this. So we're just going to copy the URL. And we're going to embed it at the top. So let's just have it. Let's see if we can have it under. Let's just say we want script, then embed the URL. Okay, this should work. The next thing we want to do is to embed our chart. We should have a line of code that will help us with that. Okay, this is it. We're just going to paste it here. So we need to also paste the JavaScript, which will trigger it. We can paste that just below the body all right this should get our chart running if everything works fine yes you can see that we have the chart running however we want donuts donuts you can see for you to see how that works let's see chart type you can check donuts and you'll be able to see the donuts. All right, let's see how we can recustomize our chart to the specification on the donut. We are just going to come to the donut and just look for. So we already set the type to donut, which is fine. Let's try to reconfigure the label. I'm just going to copy all of this then replace with the label let's see how we can index this in all right okay for refresh we can see see that chart looks better now with just three segmentation three data point let's see if we can remove this line we don't want it. You can see now that we have clean and um, more precise, just to kind of like look like our design. Though we can achieve this 
exact one, but we're trying to just use a plugin that will help us to get this running just almost immediately. Okay, but let's see if we can edit this red, let's say completed. Then let's have ongoing, then let's have stalled. Yeah, so you can see. Cool. All right, and that's how we wrap it up on this one. In the next section, we're gonna see how to add these very section where you have like recent projects and also the listing. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.